enticing you to stay with us. Yeah! Let's meet the bachelors for game two. They're up here, I think. Yes, meet things correctly. Bachelors, bachelors. Dear gentlemen, how are we today? Great, doing Great. good. Yeah, okay. All right. all right, let's find all your assorted little secrets out. Best number one, who are you? What do you do? My name is Mike Danziger, and I'm a school teacher studying for a PhD in educational philosophy. Big business card. Okay, uh, awkward moments at the end of the day. Uh, do you like them? Can you handle them? What do I you do? I thrive on them, Jeff. Ah, I mean, okay. those adrenal moments at the end of the date when you're standing there on her porch and you're not sure whether you should go for a little kiss, a big kiss, or a really big kiss. I mean, it's those awkward silences. I tell you, you know, it's worth it if you get a payoff. Oh, I'm sorry, I must have blacked out. All right, best of luck to you, sir. And uh, bachelor number two, who are you and what do you do? Okay, my name is Yvon. I'm from France. I'm from the French Riviera. I'm a judo instructor and I um, work for a real estate agency. Okay. Uh, have you uh, encountered any problems with women lately at all? I have to say yes. I don't know why, but all the American women say the thing that the thing that French people are wild. But we are not. I'm not wild. Unless uh, the girl makes me that way. Hot to. Hot to. <laughs> Ooh, il fait chaud. Oh, okay. Best of luck to you, sir. And, uh, uh, or bon chance. And, uh, <laughs> best of luck to you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> Merci. Oh, drag me in. Oh, right, Sylvie. A la piscine. Avec qui? Avec Anne. 16 years in school. All I can do is ask for a woman I don't know and find out she's at the pool with someone else I don't know. So, bachelor number three, who are you and what do you do? My name is Don Burr and I'm a stockbroker. Are you looking for a wild woman, sir? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not looking for a Miss Priss, okay? I want a woman that uh, can jump on my catamaran and go sailing with me. Mm -hmm. if, uh, if she's afraid of a little wind and salt air, well, she's probably a little too prissy for me. Well, now, where are you guys when I need you? Uh, you wouldn't shut up for the last game. Well, they're just sitting there now. All right, you guys ready to play? Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, all right. Well, let's go over here then and meet our best friend. Her name is Tia Cole. Tia Cole, ladies and gentlemen. Tia Cole. Come on out. How are you, Tia? What is it? Kind of a mint screen. I want you to go ahead and sit down. It's a very lovely outfit. So tell us something about yourself, if you would, please. I'm a talent agent and a native Californian. Okie dokie. Uh, so what could turn you off to a guy at first glance, do you think? At first glance? Well, if I were on the beach, it would definitely be a hairy back, I think. Um, <laughs> it's something, I don't know, I saw the movie The Fly, and they show a close-up of Jeff Goldblum when he's turning the fly and the hair is coming out of his back, and I, there's just something about, yeah, that's a big, definitely. Don't like mm -hmm. that. <laughs> okay, uh, well, you can't even see their back, so you're okay, at least until you get them on the date. Uh, you're going to ask the questions, get the answers, decide who you want to go out with. Okay. Okay? okay? I'll be down here watching. Okay, that's the number one. Mm hmm. I make few demands of the men I date, but one is definitely not to chew with your mouth open. What's the one demand you make of the women you date? Well, one demand that I make of the women I date is not to kiss with your mouth closed. <laughs> I mean, I love to kiss, and I just don't want a girl to staple her mouth closed. It's not like I want to perform a tonsillectomy with my tongue, which, which I could, by the way, but I just want to... But I, you know, hey, I, want a, I want a nice, tasty exploration. Okay. Okay. No, it's all right. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Bachelor number two? No, 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 no. Tia, Tia, Tia. Yes. I, have to, I have to talk to this one first. Okay. okay. <laughs> My mom, my mom watches this show. <laughs> okay. Hard to believe, but true. But, you know, it's the one proviso I make as long as the check's clear, Mom, you have to watch. We really don't want to know that you can do a tonsillectomy with your tongue. <laughs> okay? okay? And you know what? <laughs> He's lying anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go ahead, Tia. <laughs> All right, bachelor number two, the same question. Okay, hello. Uh, will be not to keep her mind closed. Okay, I like people who uh, want to learn, like to learn, to having fun, to share fun, to, to go for exciting things, you know? Okay, bachelor number three, what's the one demand you make of the women that you date? Uh, to talk. Uh, I can't stand having to do a, an interrogation all night, or worse yet, a five-hour monologue. Okay. All right, thank you. Bachelor number two, a guy shouldn't try to look at himself in my rearview mirror when he's driving, when I'm driving. What's something your dates should never do? 
when say, you're behind the wheel. When I'm behind the wheel? Yes. Okay. I will say, I don't want her to try to steal my wheel and to do something too romantic. <laughs> too, uh, she can do something a little bit romantic. I don't mind. <laughs> Okay, uh, bachelor number three. <laughs> <laughs> to uh, backseat drive, start giving me directions, telling me where to go, go here, go there, uh, don't do this, don't do that. Uh, if she starts that, uh, I don't know, she better have cab fare. Oh. Okay, bachelor number um, one, what's something your date should never do when you're behind the wheel? My date shouldn't mess around with the songs on the radio because I, you know, I've chosen the radio station that I want to listen to. And I think, that, I think that when you're driving, when you're in a car, songs are really important because what if we happen to you know, run out of gas on a lonely road? I think we'd not like a station with some good songs so we could entertain ourselves while we're waiting for AAA to save the day. <laughs> yeah, you know, T, I'd keep my hand right off those dials. You might flick that tongue out and hit your hand. <laughs> Okay, well, what if we don't agree on it? Is that okay? We can't just trade, go back and forth from uh, different station to station? No? I think, well, I guess we, I guess we could change stations. Yeah, okay. I'm agreeable. Oh, okay. I'm a little bit country. She's a little bit rock and roll. I'm a little bit country. Where are they today? They can't get work. It's so sad. <laughs> okay, bachelor number three. If Same. a guy, excuse me? Go ahead. Okay. If a guy thinks Frank Capra movies are too intellectual, that's a danger sign for me. When you meet a woman, when does the danger sign start to flash in your head? Uh, probably when she thinks the Ayatollah is a new heavy metal group. <laughs> I'd begin to really worry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's the number one. Same question. Well, danger signs start to flash, sirens ring, lights are going off, and a voice is saying, Bachelorette number, Bachelor number one, get out of here. When after the date, we're walking home, hand in hand, under the moonlight, and she turns to me, looks me in the eye, and calls me by her ex-boyfriend's name. <laughs> I would say that that would be a sign to, to split. Okay. Uh, bachelor number two, when does the danger sign start to flash in your head? I will say when the, the girl will say, I don't know how to make a French kiss because I'm from America. <laughs> make it stop! Well. Welcome to Good Taste Day here on the all-new dating game. We don't want bachelors with good taste. We want bachelors that taste good. Anyhow, you have to decide now, Tia, which one of those guys you want to go out with, okay? Okay. We'll give you about four hours. You folks at home, it'll seem like two minutes. Uh, you'll be right back. Don't go away, please. Just discussing the big uh, dating game cover dish supper with Tia here. So, Tia, who is it going to be? Is it going to be bachelor number one or bachelor number two or bachelor number three? Bachelor number one. Yeah! <laughs> need, I, need I ask why? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, no. Let's not even pursue this, shall we? <laughs> the human Gila monster. Let's meet the two you didn't choose. Bachelor number two said he wants a woman who knows about the French keys. Ivan Lanovsky, come say hello to Gia. And uh, bachelor number three said he doesn't like those dates who act like backseat drivers. Don Burr, come on over and say hi to Tia. <laughs> okay, thanks, guys. We've got some stuff for you backstage. All right. Um... <laughs> oh, let's meet this guy uh, on a date. With him, don't mess around with the radio, but the operative word in this sentence is tongue. Mike Danziger, come say hi to Tia. Okay. Okay, I have three envelopes, three trips. Who wants to choose? You choose. Okay. Envelope one, tear that open and tell us where you're going. Cabo San Lucas. Cabo San Lucas, which of course is Spanish for look at the size of that guy's tongue. Uh, Charlie, tell us about it, why don't you? Tia and Mike, you jet from Los Angeles to Mexico for four terrific days on the beaches of Cabo San Lucas on the southernmost tip of Baja, where the Pacific Ocean meets the Sea of Cortez and beautiful blue waters beckon you to romance and adventure. You and your dating game chaperone will be the pampered guests of Hotel Solmar, 
a secluded haven featuring comfortable spacious rooms, private beach patios, and a dining room with the charm of old Mexico, furnished by Hotel Solmar. Have a great time in Cabo San Lucas. A fabulous trip by any yardstick. Uh, you played a very nice game. It was a pleasure having you both on. Let us know how the trip goes. Stay here with me now and welcome Krista and Chris off to New York City. So, how are you two getting along? Good. Fine. 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 Wonderful. Good. Great. Okay. We'll see you next time on The Dating Game. Bye-bye, everybody.